Hey guys, Siobhan here from PDE. I'm going to give you a run through the changes and upgrades that have been made with the Launch Pro SV 5.0, which replaces the old Launch Pro SV, which was one of our best selling scan tools. So the first change that's been made is the tool now comes in two separate heavy duty cases. So in your first case, we've got all your OBD1 adapter cables. So if you're working on a vehicle built pre-2000s, you may need one of these adapters and they all just pack away nicely into the case. And if you're not working on older vehicles, then you can store this away in the workshop. Now there's been quite a few upgrades made to the new Launch 5.0. We've gone from having 31 special functions to 37 special functions and they can all be found in the service function option on the menu. We've gone from Android 9.0 operating system to 10.0. Now this tool covers over 110 different brands of light vehicles and we've gone from having 32 gigabytes of storage to 64. Now the VCI has been completely upgraded and this new one now covers CAN-FD and DOIP protocols. Now if you want to find out more about the Launch X431 Pro SV 5.0, head over to our website. Alright, let's go plug it in and I'm going to show you the tool in action. Another convenient upgrade that's been made with the new launch is that it comes with an extension cable for the VCI, so now there is no excuse to leave it behind in a customer's car. So we're going to select Intelligent Diagnose, and that is when the tool will pick up the VIN and then automatically recognize the vehicle's details. Once the vehicle's been identified, we're going to go into Diagnosis. We're then going to go through and pick a few options that this vehicle has, such as the Build Year with Smart Key and with Radar Cruise. From the main menu in the vehicle, I always do a full health report first. This will just go through, scan the vehicle for all available modules and show if there are any fault codes. Now, any control modules that have faults will automatically ping to the top. So you can easily access the system, jump in, see what the fault code is and clear it. I'm now going to go into the special functions that are available for this specific vehicle. So bear in mind, every vehicle is different and the options you see on the screen will be different for every make and model. Here, I'm going into customize settings. And again, this is going to be different for every make and model, but in this area here, you can do things like turn off your seatbelt warning, um, change your door lock settings and all sorts of things. So, for example, you might be using your truck on the farm. You want to turn off your seatbelt warning while well, we can do that in here. So some of the special functions we've got available on this vehicle include oil life reset, DPF regen, injector programming, and ABS bleeding, which is quite a popular one. Along with electronic throttle reset, key fob programming, and a few others. Now, when you buy a scan tool through us, you'll also receive our after sales technical support. So say you're in the tool, you can't find a certain function, the tool's not doing what it should be doing, or you get stuck and simply need to phone a friend. It's really simple. You just give us a call. We're going to ask you for your team viewer ID, which I'll show you where to find right here on the main screen of your tablet. Now, as long as you're connected to the internet, this is going to generate an ID. So on the phone, we'll ask you for your ID. You just read that out to us. This is what we see on our end. We simply type your ID in and then we can connect into your tool. So once we're in, we can see your screen. We can control your screen and assist that way. And I'll show you what it looks like from our end. 
So we can now see your screen and we can see exactly what vehicle you're dealing with. And this makes it so much easier for us to help you out and offer assistance. For example, we can go in and read your live data. And from looking at the data, we might be able to determine, okay, your engine is not at operating temperature and that's why the vehicle isn't going into a forced regeneration. So as you can see here, we've got a wealth of data available from the ECU. Now this will be different as per make and model, depending on which sensors and things the car is fitted with, but this gives us a really good idea of what's going on and helps us assist you. This is just to show you and give you an idea of all the different actuation tests that are available on the ECU in this specific vehicle. Another thing I love about the launch Pro SV 5.0 is all the different add-on options we've got. Battery tester, current clamp, oscilloscope, multimeter, insulation tester, sensor box. We've got key programming x -Pro. we've got all these different add-ons available within the tablet itself so i'm going to give you a little demonstration on two of the most popular add-ons we've got the battery tester and the video scope Alrighty. so this is what our launch battery tester looks like it's just two clamps that go onto the battery and communicate with the tablet via wi-fi so we're going to come back to the tool here and we're going to jump into our battery tester app First time using it, no worries, okay. So, let's do a battery health test. So here we can select from our different battery types. Now this is just a standard battery. The battery is 490 CCA, so we're just gonna go ahead and type that in. Now I do know that this battery is a little bit weak, so let's see what the test results say. And we've got battery state of health 54%, which is pretty on the low side, and it is gonna give us the result down the bottom of replace battery. Now from the screen, we can either end the test or we can go to the next test, which is the start system test, which we're going to need to be in the vehicle to do. So here we are in the vehicle, confirm, and then we're going to start the engine. And the results have come back that we have low starting voltage, 7.5 volts. Now the next test we're going to do is a charging test. So obviously the engine's got to be running for this one. Increase RPM to two and a half. And our charging test results are normal. So when we press in the test, it's going to bring up our test results, which we can then share, we can print it, or we can email it. And all of your battery test results will be saved in the tool under reports. Another super handy add-on is the Launch VSP 600 inspection camera. So it plugs in via USB to the top of the tool. Then from our apps, we're going to jump into endoscopy and that's going to bring up the camera lens. So this is great for those really hard to inspect areas or maybe areas that have low light levels as there is an LED torch on the end of the camera. So for example, maybe you can't be bothered. You don't have time to take the wheels off. You just stick it down in there. As you can see, there is next to nothing left on these brake pads. And I'll just show you on another vehicle. 
as we can see here this one has nice new brake pads now if you want to find out more about the launch x431 pro sv 5.0 head over to our website